Hello and welcome to Console Accessories and on today's video we're going to be looking at the Hybrid System Armour which is an officially licensed Nintendo product made by Hori so we're expecting good quality here but that's one thing I want to mention before I get into it it's the box. Now I've had this same problem with another one of my videos and I'll link to it above there for the flip case is the box. Now this is small and significant I understand that but bear with me. Hybrid System Armour written at the bottom there, I can read that perfectly. But the switch is upside down. Why would you do that? Because, why don't you just flip that? I don't know. The switch is the right way around there, but this is all upside down. I don't get it. So if you know, there's gotta be a reason for it. So if you know, let me know down below. It's, I find it bizarre. The same with the other one. So that's the front. And on the sides, we've just got a bit of branding here and you can see the turquoise, because I've got the turquoise, um, I've got the turquoise switch lights. So so that fits with that one. You can get all the different colors for this, this armor. And then on the back there, it's got instructions on how to fit it and a few little bit of extra features and stuff. Okay, so when you pop it open, there it is. There we go. Okay, so this is kind of really hard rubber I'd say so yeah so this is really hard rubber and this bit here is plastic so you can see the, the back of the switch and, plastic, and then rubber but really kind of hard you'd be mistaken for it being plastic but I think it's just really hard rubber uh, lots of cutouts all the way around and then this is kind of like I think I guess it's kind of where they're you saying that you get a lot of protection from I don't know the science behind it does that people far more intelligent in engineering than me will be able to tell you whether that, so if I show you in here, whether that's going to be enough to protect your switch from a from a drop. I guess it would be more than just a near average case for dropping, but as we'll see with the switch, it's kind of got to be dropped at a, um, a specific angle for it to be protected because there's cutouts here. If it's going to be dropped like that, one of your triggers is going to go, isn't it? Let's have a look. This feels, it doesn't feel too much. This doesn't feel too bad. I don't think it'll add too much to your switch. No, so it's spot on 100 grams. Nice and light. And then I take this out. So this is my switch. I've got it in my Skull & Co grips, which are fantastic. They're my go-to with the, with the triggers there. They're my go-to. And then we pick this one up because I fancied that and look at it. And it's the same way as a Skull & Co. You pop it in the top there and then you just squeeze it in and in it is. In it goes, and as you'd expect, the colour matches absolutely perfectly, and the size, the fit is a beautiful fit. Now they claim that it's got the shock protection and all that, but like I said earlier, you've, you're going to have to drop it either like that or like that, because if you drop it there, where that is, you're just going to smash your triggers, aren't you? Because with the Skull & Co, they have, they have plastic bits over the triggers. Like that, to protect it a little bit. Whereas this doesn't have that. You're straight, you bang straight onto the trigger there. So like, hmm. you kind of, if you're gonna drop it, make sure you drop it like that, will you? And let's go around it then. So on the top there, we've got a gap there. And we've got some buttons there. And they're covered up, as you can see. And then a gap, gaps, gaps for the, um, for the game card. And a gap there for the triggers. SD card, power, speaker, and then about there, the speakers there, sorry. So, all in all, gaps in all the right places. A lot of a lot of things I've seen don't have a gap there for the micro SD, simply because you're not taking this out very often. But they've decided to put one in for this one to make it easier for you to put in there. Like I said before. I've only ever gone into this micro SD once, and that was to put my micro SD card in, and then I just leave it. And then on the back here, I do like this, 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 this plastic bit here. So you can show that it says Nintendo Switch. I do like that. And then with these cutouts here for, I don't know, for styling purposes. Okay, like I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna drop it to test it, but I, I guess it feels like it would give you a bit of protection. And on the back here, these bits here that, that house kind of like all the, the gaps and the bits and bobs, it kind of makes for a nice kind of little grip there. So you can 
grip it and it makes it really comfy. It's really, really, really good. It makes it nice and comfy to hold. These bits are a bit, there. Okay, so these bits here, they're a bit sharp, so they haven't been finished off very well. And there, you can see that. So there, it's, so it's a bit scratchy on the, on the things there, but not too bad. You can pick this up for $20 on amazon.com or 17 pounds on amazon.co.uk. And it's not too bad. There's so many cases out there. It's, it's entirely your decision. Now my default go-to case is this when I'm carrying it around. So I always like to say when I have like kind of something like this, I always see if I can fit it in there. So let's see if we can get it in. No, it's not even gonna be, oh, no. Yeah, come on. There we go. Gosh, like a ticking time bomb that is. I wouldn't suggest putting it in there. That's quite a lot of pressure on that zip there. I'm gonna take that out before I snatch the zip. But it goes in. If you've got one of these, the power a case, the stealth case, it will fit in there. As well as this. Totally up to you. Okay, so all in all, not a bad, not a bad case. I think there's it depends on what you want it for whether you want it for the protection just in case you're going to drop it. It adds a bit of bulk to the, the, the light. I have this on 99.9% .9 of the time and I'd say it probably adds just as much protection as this does but it makes it a million times more comfortable. Okay so what do you think? Do you think that armor's any good? It's okay $20, 17 quid but I think put that towards some games if you like really. Unless you like the look of it, which like looks quite nice. Okay, so let me know in the comments below if you've got one or if you're planning on getting one. And give us a thumbs up and if you're new, please do hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. It would help the channel out. Okay, thanks very much then until the next video. Bye bye.